Hi, I'm Peter Sewell. Welcome to Simply Good Food TV, and we are here with the one and only Rosemary Schrager. Here Hello, at everyone. Cookery School. Hello. Uh, you're going to cook a recipe for us, yeah? Well, I'm cooking a very simple homie that most people do, but the thing a frittata, okay. delicious with prunes. That's the difference. But okay. to me, a frittata is actually an incredibly healthy thing to do <laughs> because everything is fresh, it's all easy, and you just have it with a little salad. So simple. So the, this recipe is part of the recipe collection you've created yes. for California Prunes. Exactly. We both work with those guys. We too. certainly do. Yeah, we do. We but, do. But who would imagine you'd ever have prunes with a frittata? Do you know what? When I saw Did it, imagine? I was like, really? Yeah, yeah okay. it works. It and, works. and when we were looking no, at... No, but hang on. Go oh. back one little bit. Oh. How many of you have had eggy bread with cinnamon and sugar? Come on. Yes, you see, so eggy bread, fruit yeah. sweet, they, hey. it does work. You know, you're, yeah. you're yet to find out. Proofs in the pudding. Proofs in the pudding, and so on the text. Now, yeah. all I have to do is I have to okay. soften. I'm going to so crop into these things while you're yeah, doing them as well. No, you carry on. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to no, soften definitely. some onions, okay? okay? Why don't you just do it for me? You know, yeah. I don't do anything. Go on, you just shut up. I've got people for everything, haven't you, oh, these yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, when I do, have I got tongs here? Oh, here, uh, you can do it. Five would you? There we are, you can do it. So listen, so basically, yeah. I will keep it down. I don't want to, I, okay. what we don't want to do is, we don't want to brown it too much. Yeah, we'll No, no, take your hands up. <laughs> this is what cooking is all about. <laughs> it's about enjoying yourself and having a bit of fun. It you should be. Um, it should be easy and fun, shouldn't it? Should. And, but you're really busy these days, aren't you? <sighs> Not as busy as you, Rosemary. You know, you're either know, one end of the country or the other, or one part of the world or the other. But the thing is, I'm always meeting you at these shows and oh, festivals and we foodie festivals. And you know the one thing about these foodie festivals is, you actually can really get to know products, local products, yeah, what it's all about, yeah, yeah, yeah. meet new people. Yeah. And to me, it's the dedication of what it's all about. But what I love about prunes, and I'm not, you know, I, as you know, we're ambassador to yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love, I mean, I love the versatility of it. Yeah, I, I think what it does is, though, you've got to think about it before you start to cook them. Yeah. On what the prune can do, how it can work. Yeah. You know, when I first started talking to California prunes, it's like, right, it kind of just sparked off yeah. curiosity as a mm -hmm. chef. Mm -hmm. And then how can I do this? And, and obviously you get in the kitchen, you start That's to play. Well, yeah, yeah. I won't. I, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. This was meant to be my demo. Yeah, it I was. Don't want to cook, I want him to <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were in a green room getting a massage. Oh yes, true. I love my massage. I know you do. The thing is, if you're going to do anything in these cake and bake shows, mm. what's going to happen is, you're going to have a massage. So what do they do? What do they do? They get me a massage. A massage. So I get about three or four a day, don't I? You do, you do. I love it. Well, I mean, you know, when you have to sort of go around and walk for mm. miles on end, you know, they're not done yet. So you have to keep no, going. no, I know, thanks. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so how have you, um, you and I have obviously chatted quite a lot already yeah. today. You're already getting lots of words though, I realise. No, that's kind of health perspective. Because oh, yes, you and yes, I yes. are both on a similar kind of journey, maybe we for are. different reasons or whatever, but yeah. I turned, 40 last year and decided I'm no longer bulletproof and I need to make sure I think He's about He's a baby! Oh, no, I know, but it's my, it's my midlife crisis. All right, go on, go on, go on, go on, before I have and, and I kind of, now I think about what I'm eating a lot more than I used to. Yes. Uh, and I've got young children, I okay. want to make sure that I can run around the field and play all day long with the kids mm. and stuff like that and eating. Me, I always think you are what you eat. Mm. Well, absolutely you know? true. But what, what I think today and and I think you're absolutely right. At your I age. never tire of hearing that. And what, what? You saying I'm right. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me rephrase that then. So, no, no, we've got it on camera. The thing, oh gosh. No, but the thing is, what is important is, you've got to feel healthy. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Okay, I'm a big lady. Always, you know, always probably will be. But you know what? It's how you feel. Yeah. And you know, it's very easy for me. I'll give you an example, well, right? This is an example. Prunes. 
this is crazy. I've got prunes my sweet peas. Mm -hmm. And I go on a lot of long journeys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I go all over the country from Scotland. I'm up to yeah. Scotland in two weeks. I'm, up to, I'm going down to Cornwall. I mean, I'm all over the place. I love it. But you know what? In my little side thing, I know we talk about it. I do exactly what you do. It's I have my little yeah. pocket of prunes. But because it feels so much better, because I'm one of these people who used to eat mine gums. All the time, you used to have a pack yeah, of wine yams, yeah. and wine yams or whatever, all the time. I don't do that anymore, I have my prunes. Yeah, I, I'm, it's funny that we both do the same thing, yeah. not discuss about it. But, yeah. but I think food is medicine, isn't it? You know, uh, you are, you know, you fill the tank with rubbish, you're going to get rubbish out. If yeah, you fill it true. with goodness, you're going to get goodness out. And you're right, yeah. you know what you feel. If you feel good about what you're eating, mm. you feel better, you've got more energy. I'll tell you what has happened, my skin has improved. Um, right. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not saying it's the it's the thing to do it, but I know that things, you know, because I know that things... Have you got a prune glow? You know, I'm, I'm, excuse me, I have a permanent prune glow. Can you say I, a permanent I have, prune listen, glow? I have a permanent prune glow. <laughs> but it's, uh, where no, are we No, not yet. Oh, a little bit more. Patience is a virtue. Right. Come on. Come on, you've got to be, you've got to understand. So anyway, so for prunes, so prunes can be used for savoury, sweet, yeah. anything at all. And but also, it's the nutritional value of prunes as well. Yeah. You know, it's not the fact that they just, you know, are much healthier to eat, but nutritionally, they're very, very good. It's one meal five a day. I think nutritionally they're good, but from a culinary point of view, they're a really interesting ingredient. You know, they add texture, they add sweetness, but then they also yeah. add sharpness, like. They have a fruitiness to it. You know, when you look at kind of date, I, I look at prunes versus dates, and dates are all very sweet and sticky. Mm -hmm. Prunes do a similar thing texture-wise, mm -hmm. but they give a tang. Mm -hmm. And it's really you nice. Know, one of my favorite things to do is prunes in soy sauce mm -hmm. with ginger, and you reduce it down and it gets stickier, and it kind of balances sounds, the sweetness. That sounds delicious. Well, you can't have that one, because it's mine. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd steal that one. No. <laughs> We're nearly ready. Yeah. We're not far off now. What's but, your favourite recipe with prunes in that you've done so far today? Souffle. Souffle. Prune ah, souffle. Okay. A prune souffle is to die for. Is that? It is so delicious. I think I probably ate four souffle. You can. Uh, we've got the recipe as well. It's okay. been filmed, doesn't it? It's there for you. Here we are. Okay. So onions out, yeah. yeah I'm, only, I'm only taking them out. It's just because I'm using little pans. Yeah. Okay. Normally I just do the whole. Yeah. You're using little pans. I'm using little pans. Exactly. I'm going to put a so a little bit of oil, oil. potatoes. Are these uh, I only use a little bit of oil, rapeseed oil or something. Whatever yeah. You can do. Are these potatoes raw or cooked? Yeah, no, they're cooked. Okay. Always cooked. So it's a good way to use up a bit of leftovers. It's a very good way and to use leftovers. leftovers. So do I. Now prunes. Here I've got prunes, chili, parsley. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to do it in a minute, get All them right. to fry them off, because I think it's quite important to have the potatoes sort of slightly, so it's got that lovely richness and depth to them. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got to brown them off a little bit more than that. Okay. Um, you know, you said you wanted some work to do, so work you're getting. Yes, yes. <laughs> I did not expect it, to be honest. <laughs> you, you know me. Anybody, I do, I do. Anyone who, who uh, gets in my way, <laughs> Here I've got four eggs. Now okay. this medium medium egg. Yeah. This will do for this will do for um, two people at least. Now okay. got a cup of eggs, potato, leftover potato. You can use sweet potato as well. Okay. Anything you like. Anything. Right. So good leftovers. Yeah, good leftovers. Yeah. Um, but also you can get some nice spices in there as well. Mm -hmm. You know? What would you add in? Um, well, anything. You can add, um, I mean, I wouldn't use some nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg, yeah, a little clove, yeah. little yeah. sort of that sort of thing. Um, yeah, bunny, bunny chili in. Do you, do you like things spicy? Yes, or I do. I'm a know? spicy lady. You're a spicy lady, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't really get that. Right, seasoning, salt. So, do we get in there some seasoning? Okay. Okay, so. So, well, I'm just... Yeah. So we'll take this here. Right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Now, every layer, I'm just going to whisk. You should go with that. So, I, I should, so four egg omelet. I yeah. want to put a little bit more four egg omelet. I want to put a little bit more. Oh, oh those are. Can I ask me on, would you? I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. This one's with. A 
that's it, just a bit. I use, sometimes I use coconut oil, yeah. which is absolutely delicious. That works as well, yeah. which really gives it a, another, yeah. a different edge to yeah, it. Yeah. So obviously you, you, you've kind of changed the way you eat, you eat quite a lot recently, haven't you? Yes, what I've done is, what, what I do, I'm slightly more, con I, well, I'm a lot more conscious. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it's like, today's trend now mm. is not to eat lots of cream, lots of butter, lots mm. of this. It is actually more healthy, and people are more conscious, that's why you need to think about all this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the prunes in there now. Now, I'd like to get that chilli in there, all right? So prunes, chilli and potatoes, cooking prunes, in here. Prunes, chilli and potatoes, cooking in there, when you get it really in there. Okay. okay, so as soon as that's done, I want you to actually probably just mix it up more that. Bring that back on here, would you? Bring it up. No, I might use that as a lid, so we'll leave that there. Okay. So, mix it all up. So, this is a good non stick pan. This is a good non stick pan. It was only £15. It's great, it works really well. Right, now, I'm going to put a little half the parsley in there, please. Okay. The mix, please. Yeah. And then we'll do the rest on the top. So we're going to get got on to number seven. So I'm now going to pour it, and I want you to mix it up, please. Mix it okay. and leave it. This is just leave it in a minute. Look so at this. mix it this together. Is, make this sure is it's a all... really big quantity. Now you think in terms of health, okay? Mm. Each time I put it, each time I put it, so. It wasn't even a, just, it was like a dessert spoon of oil. Now that's yep. not much. No. In all. So that's just a little squirt. In, out. Uh, does that look wonderful? I mean, that's really simple. I, I, I'm, I'll have that for my dinner. I'm and eager to try it with the prunes in. Good boy, I'm glad to you said that's that. That's my answer. Good, good. No, I am. I am. I, 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 every day's a school day for me. Yes. Don't, uh, you, don't you love cooking, though? Do you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else. No, I couldn't either. Because it's, it's like, one of those, like, I remember when I first started to become a chef, nobody was interested in what I did as a career, and now it's it's kind of like everybody loves food. Yeah. It's like the second most photographed thing on the internet now. It's ridiculous. It's but, like everybody loves food. Yeah. Um, and, and it's a common denominator with everyone. Everyone has to eat. Yeah. Whether you cook it, whether you buy it, whether, whatever you do. Yeah. Uh, and, and it is one of the best medicines. You hear what you're saying, yeah. I think he's absolutely right. Yeah, I've known him only as a chef to actually out there on the zone. Now he's a businessman. Now he's a presenter. He's elevating himself up in, in life. But I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Seriously, I really am. Because that's because I think it's lovely to put your passion across to other people. Yeah. Because that, to me, is what it's all about. That's why I love that. I absolutely adore demonstrating. I love to show my passion, yeah. and you're doing it in exactly the same way. Well, it's cooking You're school, doing isn't it, it through the television. That's different. Well, I just stand there in front of live audience and say, whatever goes on in this room stays in this room. <laughs> That's right. That's true. <laughs> so it's quite funny. But I think that, yeah, just yep. take it up to bring it. So I think that um, to get people, they are more enthusiastic, but there's been a huge generation where. You actually, you haven't been taught by your parents because mm. people don't have time anymore. And that's why, actually, I love the Punit campaign. I mm. love all this going on because it's talking about simple food, accessible food. Mm. It's what it's all about, health, where it all comes from. It's very important, mm. really important. I, I think it's, I find it really interesting as well as, 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 as a group of ambassadors that are all working on the same project, same brief. We're all coming up with different dishes, different oh, ideas, totally. That's and I love that. I find it fascinating. What What are you going to come up with next? You know, I what's no, I have no idea. Peter going to come up? You up and say what? <laughs> but you know, it's a black piece of paper. No, that's what you start with. I love so much about it. It's a com oh, hang on, I'm just going to turn the grill off. So, okay. grill. so you're going to grill this to finish, yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to grill to finish. Okay. So we've got it on quite slowly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to turn it down a bit. But it, you can see here, and let, let me just crop into here so everyone can see. You can kind of see that it's just starting yeah. to cut around the edges there. And the key to it is making sure that it cooks right through, isn't it? But also, it cooks right through, but also you can go away and do something else, because you could leave this mm. on a low heat. Yeah. And you could be getting on with something else and just get, you know, because it won't burn. As long as it's on a low heat, I've yeah. got this on seven. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, as long as it's, uh, okay. I'm going to turn it down. 
And in fact, I'm going to, yes, we be patient. So, and also, I'm just while that's cooking, I mean, I, this is why I love, I want to talk about apprenticeships. Okay, because, yeah. You know, I think this I'm is... I'm a bit the, young for one of them, I think. You're never too young. You're never <laughs> too old. I say you're never too old. But what I think is important is, we have a Danielle who's an, yeah, yeah. Who's an ambassador to California. Yeah, yeah. She's doing a great but job. She's doing a really good job. But she's mm. third year student. Right. And she's third year in VQ. So mm. she's really pushing herself forward. Mm. And she has she has had to push herself in a big yeah, way. Yeah. Because what it was discipline, you know and I know, mm. cooking's all about discipline. In the end of the day, you've got to be able to be prepared to sort of put in the hours, put in the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, the next generation is what it's all about. Yeah. To encourage them to get out there and do it and see the excitement. Because I see, I see cooking like we do with Californian prunes. It's another part of cooking, mm. and it's exciting. So it can take you anywhere in mm. the world. You can do anything with it. Anything. It's literally a stepping stone. I think. Well, into the world's got a lot smaller life. now, hasn't it, with the internet? Exactly. And I think when I first started cooking professionally, it was all about making your pilgrimage to London. To yes, work. yes. And now it's not. And abroad too. Well, yeah, I mean, for me, the biggest step was to go to London and, mm. and from York, where I was brought up. Um, <laughs> and, and I kind of did that and then came back and then went off to Europe. Yes. But now you could go anywhere in the world yes, exactly. just like that. And I, I think that's such an exciting time. Yes. But it is a hard industry. It's cooking. Very... And you will only get out of it mm. what you put in. <laughs> You know, there's easier ways of making a living. But it's jolly hard work, but I mean, doing doing this sort of thing mm. and actually doing, you know, finding a product that you really love. Mm. I mean, when I was asked to do mm. California Cruise, there was no hesitation whatsoever. Right. Not one second right. will I do it. The answer was yes, please. <laughs> Brilliant. No, I'm well, didn't you feel the same way? Yeah, likewise. Because it gave you an opportunity to do another thing, to do something else. I think it does, and what it challenged me, which is what was exciting about it, and it sat comfortably with what I was trying to do with my own sort of Life. cooking at home and, you know, on, yes. on in my cookery school, you know, and, and in books and on TV and Absolutely. so on and so forth. It just, it, it kind of just prickled me, and I thought, Probably, oh, probably do that. And that's why I kind of went for it. And I think, yes. it, you know, it has, it has opened up um, a really unique approach. Yes, it is. I found cooking. the same thing too. Yeah. What's your favourite Californian prune recipe? Come on. That I've done? Or... Yeah, mine is my souffle. Okay, mine is probably, I've done a, a really lovely flatbread with California prunes and feta. And then we sprinkle nigella seeds and coriander seeds on I love onion seeds. Yeah, and it's I just love onion seeds. Feta and prunes together. Oh my god. Because uh, you get saltiness and then you get yes. the sweetness from the prunes. It's probably the simplest one that I've done, but it just it just resonates. And, it just and then did. the coriander seeds gives a fragrance and yeah. the onion seeds and the nigella seeds they give that sort of savouriness. Nigella seeds, as you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, them, I don't know why everybody calls them nigella seeds. They always used to be called onion seeds, but they've suddenly gone into the other thing. Why? Why has that happened? Why? It's just one of life's mysteries. Really. Yes, it is. Suddenly the, name, <laughs> suddenly the name changes from onion seeds to like jelly seeds. Marketing. Marketing. That's what it's all about. But Marketing. Um, but yeah, and, and for me it was just, it just worked. And, and it, I was in the kitchen, I was playing, and I thought, right, what am I going to do? And, and I kind of just thought, mm, yeah. salty, sweet, tangy, mm, let's try that. Uh, and, and it just works really well. Sounds delicious. Yeah, though. lovely. And then I did want to. Yeah, one. of course we will. Yeah, yeah. It'll be my pleasure. Maybe we do it at Just Me. Let's do it. Let's do it at Just Me. So we're both going to be at Just Me okay, cooking do, together. I'm not doing the souffle in front of hundreds of people. Though. Yeah, no. I'm Rosemary guaranteed will that do. one. No. <laughs> Actually, if that's a challenge, I will. Well, you're going to cook a hundred. No, I cook one souffle. One souffle. Don't Between how many people are you? Thirty-five thousand. Now just, you've moved down no, south, you've this got is just, time. This is, just, <laughs> this is just a demonstration, man. Uh, I'm not feeding the 5,000. Never do a demo without feeding them. That's what we do. No. She's changed since she's moved south. No! <laughs> right. Okay. I think, it, I think it's just about done now. Okay, so what? Ready? 
five minutes in the evening? Oh, yeah, around right? five minutes on the yeah. 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 yeah, medium heat. Yeah, medium heat. It's got to be ready, otherwise... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, you don't want to keep turning it because it needs to... No. Be. But for a tartar, it's something that's solid. Yeah. It's, solid. it's not like... It's quite firm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And in fact, you can, you can cut it and have it cold... Oh, look. And have it cold as a salad. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. Which is good. So that's my frittata. Marvelous. See that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, should we just do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it up the other way so it looks prettier okay. because that was underneath. So what I'll do is get another plate. Oh, okay. So it looks prettier on the other side. See. No. All the tricks of the trade, Rosemary. Yeah. Okay, so basically that's that, There you go. So what we're going to do, and that's actually, to be honest, it doesn't need anything on it. So what I was going to do was a little onion. Okay, so we've got a salad going. Sorry. A little onion, a little salad, uh, because they're all very healthy. So cherry tomatoes, red onion. cherry tomato, and also a little lemon juice. Lemon juice. Pour it on here, lemon juice. How much? Uh, just squeeze. Healthy, 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 healthy. I think lemon juice is a really good way to get big flavours in. Yeah, um, I, I use lemons all yes. the time. It's probably one of the most used ingredients in my kitchen. Oh, absolutely. Just because it just lifts everything. Well, when you, for instance, you're frying a piece of chicken or fish, mm. you finish it with a bit of butter and lemon. Acidity. That's it. You're done, Bob Jonker. Right, what we'll do is, I'm just going to put that in another bowl. Okay. So. so yeah. See, if you'd have been in the north, you'd have just bunged it on top of there. Yeah, you? well, I'm not you going. Change. I'm not going. No, I have not changed. No way. You've I gone all southern. I'm not. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Right, okay, here's my frittata. A little okay. salad to go with it. How delicious is that? Well, I don't know, yeah. Speaking of that, why not? Don't you dare do that. Oh, I think it would be real trouble for me. Can right. I try it? No, I'm going to cut you a piece. See, I told you you changed. You'll be giving me a napkin next. I will. There <laughs> we go. Lovely. Right, I want to prune. I want to try this prune. Try it with a prune. I do. Try it with a prune. Get with it. Get in there. I will. Delicious. It works. Mmm. Right. Can I have a bit of everything? Mm. Actually, do you know what? Oh, that's delicious. Do you know what? Oh, it's just right. I'm going to put a bit more prune in next time. <laughs> oh! So the recipe for this, can we get that on California that Prunes delicious. website? It means I, I'm going to put a bit more prune in next time. Yes, you can. Yes. You're going to get the prune this in the, Doesn't that look lovely? That's so simple. Useful. Really but nice. That will feed, actually, that, that, that's a big, that will must feed four people. I was thinking that's my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Rosemary, thank you very much for doing that. It's my pleasure. It's my I pleasure. have thoroughly enjoyed myself. <laughs> Me too. Uh, and I've been fed, which is always good. Go on, um, eat it for lunch. If you want the recipe, you can get it from the California Prunes website. Give it a go, it's really, really tasty. It's gorgeous.